Hello, my dear student. Welcome once again the course number one, that is the PSCT 121 Electrodynamics and MSc First Year Physics, semester second. In this lecture series, in that course, we will study the four module. In that video, we will start the module number three, that is the inhomogeneous wave equation. In that chapter, in that lesson, in that module, we will studied the many points that is uh, one is the inhomogeneous wave equation another is the lorentz and coulomb gauge gauge transformation hertz potential the electrodynamic potential these points we will study the in that chap in that module that is the inhomogeneous wave equation in this video we will start the first point that is the inhomogeneous wave equation firstly see the definition of inhomogeneous wave equation what is mean by inhomogeneous wave equation the in the definition of that inhomogeneous wave equation is the the wave equation describe the propagation of the wave equation in describe the propagation of electromagnetic wave can be generated by the charge free region charge free charge free or non zero source non zero source current and charge definition are the the wave equation describe the wave equation describe the propagation of electromagnetic wave generated by non zero source charge and current these are the inhomogeneous wave equation generally we know that the two electrodynamic potential we know the two electrodynamic potential first is the magnetic vector potential first is the magnetic vector potential that is a bar and second one is the magnetic scalar potential potential that is the phi these two electrodynamic potential we know that is the one is the magnetic vector potential a bar and second one is the magnetic scalar potential phi but we will obtain the inhomogeneous wave equation Le? our aim to obtain the inhomogeneous wave equation in terms of this magnetic vector potential a bar and magnetic scalar potential phi then we use the maxwell four differential equation we use the maxwell four differential equation and that maxwell four differential equation are del dot del bar dot d bar is equal to rho del dot b bar is equal to zero del cross e bar is equal to minus daba b by daba t and del cross h is equal to j plus daba d by daba t this is equation 1, equation 2, equation 3, and equation 4. These are the four Maxwell differential equation. We use this four Maxwell equation. We will obtain the two inhomogeneous wave equation in terms of magnetic vector potential A and magnetic scalar potential phi. Let's see the these four equation. This equation 1 and 4, this equation 1 and 4 are the home in homogeneous equation these equation 1 and 4 are the in homogeneous equation and equation 2 are the solenoidal character okay we know this two vector that is the irrotational vector irrotational irrotational vector and another is a solenoidal vector solenoidal vector what is the mean by irrotational vector irrotational vector is the any vector the cross product of any vector is zero that means these are the irrotational vector and dot product of any vector that is the del dot b is equal to zero the cross product of any vector is zero that means this vector is the irrotational vector and dot product of any vector is zero that means these are the solenoidal vector then out of these four equation equation one and four are the inhomogeneous equation and equation two are the solenoidal character okay then lay in this previous class that is the ty let's see the one equation that is the b bar is equal to b bar is equal to del cross a b bar is equal to del cross a and this a is the magnetic vector potential a is the magnetic vector potential this equation let's see the in previous classes t y b c that is the point is the magnetic vector potential let's see the book electrodynamics classical electrodynamics in t y b s c then we use the equation phi u let put the value of b in equation in equation 3 then equation 3 becomes equation 3 becomes equation 3 are the del cross e 
is equal to minus deba by deba t and b is the del cross a b is the del cross a or let's write the this equation is del cross e is equal to minus del cross deba a by deba t then this term in that side will be negative transform this term with that side it will be the plus and equation are the del cross e plus del cross deba a by deba t is equal to zero then del will be common then del cross e bar plus deba a by deba t is equal to zero okay let's see the that equation this del cross this e plus deba a by deba t this is the vector term and this all this bracket is the that one term that is the e bar plus deba a by deba t let's see the equation then we write the this is the irrotational character this is the irrotational character irrotational character because the cross product of that vector e bar plus deba a by deba t is zero that means this is the irrotational character and that is equal to this vector is equal to the negative gradient of the scalar potential that is the phi that means this e bar plus deba a by deba t is equal to minus del phi and that term this transform of that side and that e bar is equal to minus del phi minus deba a by deba t this is the equation number 6 e bar is equal to minus del phi minus deba a by deba t then in that equation put deba a by deba t is equal to zero then equation 6 becomes e bar is equal to minus del phi and this is only for only for magnetic scalar potential this equation is only for magnetic scalar potential then by using the equation 5 and 6 these are the equation we write equation 6 in that side equation 6 is e bar is equal to minus del phi minus deba a by deba t this is the equation 6 let's see the equation 5 and 6 okay then our aim to obtain the this two in homogeneous wave equation our aim to obtain the in homogeneous wave equation in terms of magnetic vector potential a and magnetic scalar potential phi okay then by using the we obtain these are then we obtain the in homogeneous wave equation then we use the equation number 4 next step are the multiply equation 4 by mu we get multiply equation 4 by mu we get equation 4 are the that means mu multiply by mu multiply or directly we write mu multiply del cross h mu multiply by del cross h is equal to mu j plus mu deba d by deba t multiply equation 4 by mu and that this is the del mu cross or directly this step we write as a del cross mu h del cross mu h multiply equation 4 by mu and we get del cross mu h is equal to mu j mu daba d by daba t then we know two equation that is a relation b and h and d and e put d bar is equal to epsilon e and b is equal to mu h then above equation becomes del cross mu h is the b is equal to mu j then d is equal to epsilon e that means this is the mu epsilon daba e by daba t del cross b is equal to mu j plus mu epsilon daba e by daba t then by using equation 5 means put the value of b and equation 6 mid put the value of e by using equation 5 and 6 above equation becomes equation are del cross del cross a is equal to mu j plus mu epsilon daba by daba t and e is the minus del phi minus daba a by daba t then 
this LHS by using vector product rule and the expansion are del del dot a minus del dot del del square a is equal to mu j multiply this term on bracket that means mu epsilon del deba phi by deba phi by deba t minus mu epsilon deba square a by deba t square okay then these two term are the minus minus transform of that side and the equation are del del dot a minus del square a plus mu epsilon this right or as a del dot mu epsilon deba phi by deba t plus mu epsilon deba square a by deba t square is equal to mu j okay then we write then that two terms del del dot del dot a and this term is a del dot mu epsilon this del will be common and this separate out that's del square a this plus this term right mu epsilon deba square phi by deba t square and del will be common plus del dot in bracket or del in bracket this is the del dot a plus that term mu epsilon remaining term mu epsilon deba phi by deba t is equal to mu j then multiply by minus 1 then equation are del square a minus mu epsilon deba square phi by deba t square minus del del dot a plus mu epsilon deba square phi sorry deba phi by deba t is equal to minus mu j equation number 7 equation 7 r equation 7 r del square a minus mu epsilon deba square sorry this term is a del square a that means this is the a this is the a mu epsilon deba square a by deba t square minus del del dot a mu epsilon deba phi by deba t is equal to minus mu j this is the equation 7 sorry we write as a phi but this is the a a is the magnetic vector potential and a is the magnetic vector potential this equation 7 is the equation 7 is the first inhomogeneous wave equation in terms of a in terms of a then let's see the another second inhomogeneous wave equation r then by using the equation 1 we write by using equation 1 we write del dot d is equal to rho we write as a del dot d is equal to rho then put we know the equation d is equal to epsilon a then equation becomes del dot epsilon e is equal to rho and therefore del dot e is equal to rho divided by epsilon rho divided by epsilon then put the value of e by using equation 6 then these equation are the del dot e is the minus del phi minus deba a by deba t is equal to rho divided by epsilon then multiply del this the del into del del square phi minus del dot deba a by deba t is equal to rho divided by epsilon throughout multiply by negative then del square phi plus del dot deba a by deba t is equal to minus rho divided by epsilon minus rho divided by epsilon okay then next step are term as the del square phi plus del dot deba a by deba t is equal to minus rho divided by epsilon in that equation one term will be add and subtract and that term is the mu epsilon deba square phi by deba t square sorry deba sorry epsilon mu epsilon deba square phi by deba t square add and subtract then adding and subtracting subtracting mu epsilon deba square phi by deba t square on above of above equation we get add and subtract then equation are del square phi minus firstly subtracted 
mu epsilon daba square phi by daba t square plus then add mu epsilon daba square phi by daba t square and term del dot daba a by daba t is equal to minus rho divided by epsilon. The next term in that two terms, this term and this term, daba by daba t will common. Then del square phi minus mu epsilon daba square phi by daba t square as it is. Then plus daba by daba t will be common. Then daba by daba t will separate out. Then remaining del dot a plus and in that mu epsilon one daba by daba t will common. That means daba phi by daba t is equal to minus rho divided by epsilon. This is the equation number seven. Equation number seven and equation eight. Equation eight are del square phi minus mu epsilon daba square phi by daba t square plus daba by daba t del dot a plus mu epsilon daba phi by daba t is equal to minus rho divided by epsilon. This equation seven, we only, let's see the equation seven and eight. Let's see the equation seven and eight are the two inhomogeneous wave equation in terms of magnetic vector potential A and magnetic scalar potential phi. But let's see the these two equation, equation seven and eight. This is the two inhomogeneous equation. But these two homogeneous equation are interlocked with one equation that is the del dot A plus mu epsilon daba phi by daba t is equal to zero and this equation or this equation is known as a Lorentz condition. This equation is known as a Lorentz condition. This equation is known as a Lorentz condition. Okay. Equation are the this del dot a plus mu epsilon daba phi by daba t is equal to zero and this condition is known as a Lorentz condition. Okay, then put the Lorentz condition del dot a plus mu epsilon daba phi by daba t in equation seven, seven and eight. This term will be cancelled. This term will be neglected. This term will be neglected. This is the this term will be neglected. Okay, this is the plus. Sorry, the minus term. This equation seven and. Eight. Equation seven and eight. Okay, these are the minus, and this is the Lorentz condition. The next point we will see the next lecture.